not even unpredictable. It's just like it's sloppy. And most of it's just like who makes the least mistakes. That's really what it's come down to. Oh, wow. Oh, right Jesus Christ. I mean, America's team for me, like, we lost on Thursday night to New England because Tomlin can't beat Belichick. I mean, it, it, our offense is terrible because there's no Kenny Pickett. Mitch Trubisky is a significant downgrade over Pickett, despite what a lot of people are saying. And the defense, we're out of middle linebackers and our secondary is getting gashed by Bailey Zappi. So that's, that's the issue with America's team right now. It's, uh, it's not good. We've lost to two straight two-win teams, and we're somehow in sixth place in the playoff race. So I... I, I don't know. Italian America's team is 3-0, and baby. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we are living large. Tommy Cutlets is here to play the football. And he is legit. He's legit. Yeah, I don't know if he's legit. We will talk he's about at, him later. He's he is winning. His is, insanity run has started, and it is going up and down the court. The best part the is Italian Sergeant Duck could Hodges, be talking baby. about Scooter or me. And it, it works both ways with this, this super. So, uh, How did uh, Denver's America's team do? Yeah, the actually the heartland of America's team. If you ever look at a map of who's rooting for the Broncos, it encompasses a large portion of America. All until you get to that border of, of Texas where things get real weird. Um, but we won. We officially killed the Chargers. Their season is done. They are so toast. And uh, Russell Wilson is so back. Uh, our offensive line is awesome. Our defense is awesome. Mm. Cortland Sutton is awesome. If Jerry Judy ever gets awesome, we might be unstoppable. And your audience will be Whoa. Was good, buddy. Was good. That was not me. Thank the Lord. I will bad. say this about the Cowboys. If we're being serious, right, let's, let's rein it in here. If we're being serious. This is what I've been talking about all along with the Eagles. You look at the point differential. The games that they've won, they have been close games against the Commanders twice. They easily could have lost both those games against the Commanders. Against the Patriots, they struggled heavily against the Patriots. They didn't win that game till very late. So when they come up against the 49ers, when they come up against the Cowboys with a revamped mm -hmm. offense from, from Mike McCarthy, they struggle. And I don't really see anything getting better. Nick Sirianni says, listen, it's not the coordinator's fault. Uh, maybe y'all got to catch some balls. You would. He, he, yeah, that's that's his new thing. He jumps over. Yeah, the that's ball. that's my ritual. If I get, it's not a jump. Have to, it's roll. Well, I gotta have to roll. It's a Granby roll. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we we'll call it a roll then. The Eagles secondary is banged up, so I knew that was going to be a bad matchup. CD Lamb eight, and whoever the other receiver is is fine. Whatever. Then you ran the ball really well. Yeah. Yeah, back. some guy named Brandon Cooks. Um, you ran the ball well. It was an ass whipping. We all laughed. Like, either way, it was going to be funny, right? Like, if the Eagles had won, you know, we would have just laughed at you, Scooter. And since now that you beat the Cowboys or that you beat the Eagles. Congratulations! Uh, Beverly Cop coming out? Yeah, their new Beverly Cop coming out. Oh! Oh! Really oh, oh. Beverly Cop. Yes, I dated her in high school. So yes, uh, good win. Hills cop coming out. Eddie Murphy is in it. Yeah, Netflix. What? Oh, it's going straight to Netflix. It's going to be. Yeah, awful. it's not going to be good. It'll yeah. Be I mean, yeah, do you have Nick Nolte in that? Grab. I mean, it's yeah. cool. Cash grab. Oh god. We'll see. Just, we'll see. just enjoy it before you've even seen it, guys. Come on, coming to America wow. was garbage, and that was a layup. Like there was no way to mess that up. By the way, they did nail it with the. Uh, Eddie Murphy, one of my favorite scenes where he says, the Giants of New York beat the Packers of oh, Green yeah, Bay. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, what didn't? I mean, Love really struggled um, a lot, especially like early. He kind of came on in the end, you know, which was really nice, but struggled early. There's really no run game besides AJ Dillon a little bit, who also broke his thumb in that game. That was just came out today. Ooh. Uh, on top of that, we did end arounds with Jaden Reed so many times that it just didn't work at the end. Then you look at the receivers who were definitely not on the same page as Love. Then the most disappointing thing was the defensive pass rush because the pass rush has been phenomenal. Phenomenal. Like these past few games. Nope, we sacked Patrick Mahomes three times. We didn't get after Tommy DeVito. So, and then he ran all over us. So that was problematic. Then that last drive, the, the Giants didn't even have to use a timeout. We were playing so off. Like they were just 10 yards off. And he's like, okay. Here we go. So yeah, that was bad. Special teams bad. Everything was just bad. Because the Giants 
we were so low on the Giants. They were, they were so dead. For two and eight. And he's given them a spark. And he's not a mm -hmm. perfect quarterback, but he's gotten better every week. He makes some plays with his legs. Uh, he's a gamer. He wears 15, and he's kind of got a little bit of that clutch Tebow gene in him. Um, it's, you know, he's just fun. So it, DeVito point, will start 2024. You heard it here first. Right. <laughs> at some point, the bloom comes off the rose, right? Like, they've obviously figured out Josh Dobbs, right? Like, he's not yeah, the, he's the greatest He's thing. a third-string you know, quarterback. And, and he was the soup du jour, which is the soup of the day. Sounds great. I'll have that. At some point, they're going to figure out why Tommy DeVito wasn't a high first-round pick, right? Watching Tommy DeVito play, like, as someone who is Italian, I would be comfortable with renaming Columbus Day after Tommy DeVito. And he just beat my team. So it's like, DeVito okay. Day! Like, I got it. That's it rolls off the tongue. I'm, the the day. Day. I'm just right. saying. That's the end of the season. Uh, I'm fortunate that Herbert broke his ah! finger. Um, although I think it just gives him to, some time to think about if he wants to continue to be a Charger, which I don't, I don't foresee uh, him wanting to. Anything? Yeah. Herbert already oh, signed okay. extension. Yeah, but he's got yeah. time to think about whether that was a good decision or not, and whether or not Bill Belichick's going to be his coach. Uh, well, Staley's clearly getting fired. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Him, him and Telesco are gone. Had all year. <laughs> oh, wow. Who got 200? That not was me. not me. Thank the Lord. Not oh, me. God dang it. Congratulations. Oh, oh Italian Americans. Yep. Yeah. Um, Currently <clears throat> one game behind the eight yeah. five Chiefs. The Chiefs have the easiest schedule in the NFL for the next four weeks. So I'm not confident the Broncos win the division. They do get Jake Browning and the Bengals, and I think that's going to be an L for Kansas City. One, the Bengals are their kryptonite. Two, Jake Browning's been balling. And if you want to mm -hmm. make a case for a guy, a young guy that nobody thought about who's actually like a, a good quarterback, I think Browning is that dude. So I need the Bengals to, to help us. Um, yeah, we, we need the Vikings to help us because, um, uh, wait, wait, you said that too, because like I, I need the Steelers to leapfrog them. I just I just want to say one thing as a Giants fan, all this slander for Kadarius Tony, that's crossing a line. We have Twitter at 14. <laughs> I'm so right, glad. Right now, if you had to cut a player from the Cowboys roster, uh huh. Would it be Tony Pollard or Brandon Aubrey? Ooh. Tony Pollard. I thought so. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, be Tony like, Pollard. Dude, because... Brandon Aubrey is like, that story, first of all, is amazing. Where he could end up and if Tom Brady carried this man, because without Tom Brady, it doesn't look like he's doing that well. The oh, NFL will market. go to Brazil, though. There That's will be so a exciting. game played in Brazil. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on the NFL expanding? You know, we've got games in London, we've got games in Germany, now we're going to Brazil. Smart move for the NFL. One of the games of our time. And speaking of which, don't you dare mock this guy. This is a legend Dick. right here, man. The I just, greatest player known to man. Brian? Monday I was saying, what the hell you doing LaFleur? Cause the Packers got their ass kicked by Tommy Cutlets. And now I'm sitting here and I'm a mess, single tear. Yeah, my eye. <laughs> That's some power behind it, dude. I, was that smart. Was. <laughs> I got 28, oh, 33.96. I got 49.99. Thank you, Peter Frazee. Mm. Rhymes buy a nice little QBC card. I got fifty-five dollars and ten cents, so it's between uh, these two guys right over. Right, I can't you point. Uh, you go first, Tom. I think I lost. Two seventy-two eighteen. Yeah, I got three nine yes. seven. Right, I'm, I'm behind on two. I'm trying to make them both happen at the same time. I got muffin mix. 
I got Ooh, it, okay. and now I just am waiting for the Italian like table. Oh yeah, you got two food uh, ones. Yeah, yeah. I'm holding on. I'm gonna yeah, try I would, them both out. I would really hate if I got a food one too. I ah. mean, no. Honestly, I think a decent punishment. You should have to dress up as Tommy DeVito's agent. Oh, you know what? I like this a lot, Justin. The ukulele apology, uh, but it's about the curse wheel because bad. he's been cursing all the teams. You know what the ukulele apology is, Perna? No, no, but Basically, that's a good one. Yeah, like the content creators like like sang a, an apology with a ukulele from crap with oh. the kid.